today the day? Mute. Do you mind? That's a glorious thing to see first thing. This does not belong there. Sky is a little ominous. Whoa. Hmm. Oh my god, those are crazy strikes, dude. Must be a hot one. We just watched storms rolling. Well, what did the storm bring? What do we got here? Hey, Mama! <laughs> well, welcome! I was told it's coming in. So we gotta get these shut before it hits. Yikes. gotten dark pretty quick so I'm just manually shutting these because uh, quite often when it does finally kick in when the when the rain hits the sensor hard enough for it to start going up it goes up way too slow so this would be underwater if it starts to just pour which it's beginning to do now with you. Huh? Are you gonna have another one? Okay. I think we only have one. Okay. Okay. I have to check your milk. I have to check your milk. Triplets. Yeah, we're just making, yeah, we're just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah, you're pretty hungry. Hi guys. Hey now. Mom had colostrum when I checked her this morning. Hi. Just not enough or what? Okay, hey buddy. Wow. All right. I will make another bottle and come back and feed you two. Okay? I'll come back. I'll come back, I promise. Okay? So as I am going to go prepare another bottle, I thought I'd just have a little chit-chat. On the weekend, I hit 300,000 subscribers, which is 
really quite astonishing, amazing, and I'm beyond blown away with the support and the new eyes on the channel. And uh, I do admit when I'm lambing, I don't have a lot of time to engage with you guys. And I do love doing that. I mean, always leave comments because eventually I do get to them. I may not answer them, but I do try to, to, to at least read them all. 300,000 is, is something that uh, I don't take lightly. I'm always overthinking this whole thing and I'm always trying to, you know, kind of educate or have strategy behind what I what I share with you guys and what I've found is that takes the joy out of it if you overthink stuff. So now it's like I use my I use my phone a lot more. I'll just grab it because what I find is by the time I go and get my main camera the moment is gone. You guys are the best at just telling me, just keep doing what you're doing. We just want to be a, a fly on the wall. And I guess going forward, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And if I provide a little bit of, you know, clarity into, into what we do every day, and you can be a part of the changes and the evolution and the, you know, the discovery, the discoveries we make all the time, then all the better. And I'm just, I'm just so happy you're here. And I hope, I hope you enjoy the channel. So yeah, 300,000, it's crazy. I'm still pinching myself. Anyways, thank you for being here, you guys. And I'm going to feed these lambs and have a shower because it's so hot. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. That makes me so happy. I was really hoping that would work. And so far, I don't even see one little piece of straw up there. So I see a lot of birds making little homes everywhere else, but not there. Morning, Junior. How are you today? Hi, buddy. Any other babies? Billy's mom? When are you gonna have yours? Probably gonna be the very last one. Now, I did notice in the last couple days, there's a few that have not bagged up at all. This one being one, this ewe lamb, she has no udder. This udder has done nothing to this older you mature you. Nothing. There was a few in here that I noticed. So we will see. That can happen. Sometimes they they can scan pregnant and then for whatever reason she might have lost it earlier on and I never noticed. So it can happen or they can I've even heard that they can reabsorb a pregnancy. So anyway, we don't have as many left as I thought, which is maybe fine. Today is day 17 of the cycle, so it should be the first day of the second cycle. These two were a bit early, barely, like the one was just yesterday, so, or were they both yesterday? They were both yesterday. Hello. I think I created some monsters here because they don't like drinking out of mom and mom has milk. Urgh. I'm not your mommy. Hello. Mommy has milk. Go get her. Marge is the nanny of the group. <laughs> what do you say, Marge? Uh, yeah, don't blame you. Are you getting ready? Uh, 
today the day? Or are we rehearsing for dog show? Hmm. What are you saying, Billy's mom? Is there anything going on back there? Poop. I'm just feeding over here on this side. And this is when I notice who's pregnant and who's not. So that N1, no udder. Second one has an udder. That one, no udder. So, so far, one, two, uh, three, four, nothing. Maybe five, nothing, 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 maybe. So maybe seven, six or seven out of all those. So weird, but a good chance to observe. Jack got a uh, amp today from Amazon. Don't mind his laundry. That is Jack. Here we are in the middle of a week, which means it's way day, it's Wednesday. Tonight I will ship whatever is 105 pounds or over. I have no idea how many I'll have. I don't think, last week I didn't have very many so I wasn't real concerned, but next Wednesday I'm busy so I can't ship. So I'm hoping I have, even if I have 10, I'll be kind of happy, but Jess is helping me today. Chris has been under the weather for a couple days, so I'm hoping she gets feeling better soon because we miss her, I know Jess does. So, okay, we're gonna run a couple through. And if they meet the weight, they're gonna go, we got a pen ready on this side, and then the rest will just pop back over to where they were before. We won't scan, we won't scan unless it's 105. 105? Oh yeah, that one is good. We had to open this though at some point. What? Oh, I didn't open the gate? Okay. Tony is messed up. What happened? It's twisted. You got on the wrong side. Yeah. Alright. Oh, the thing's on the wrong side? I think I put the... I think I put it backwards. Hold on, homie. We're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Can you, do you mind? Can you, guys, back it up a bit, please. Okay. There we go. You wanna go? You're my big boy. Oh, yeah. Okay, the scoop behind that one, why he's so big. Why is this? Yeah, mom, why is he so big? He was one of the breakout babies in end of February, so, oh, actually, he's March, March 7th. But I still think he was a breakout baby. But he was that single that was like 19 pounds, I think, when he was born. Uh, so, yeah, overall, his average daily gain, so every single day since he was born, he has gained 1.14 pounds. So, good mom, only feeding one baby, uh, a ram lamb, who they just tend to, they tend to grow faster anyway. All right, we'll keep going. But I thought that was interesting to point out. Not both of you. Not both of you. No, 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 no. No. Say one down, eight to go. 
All right, we are all done. I just thought I'd run over the stats real quick. So there was only seven. So I never do this, but I'm just afraid. Some of these are getting pretty big. So the, the uh, there were seven, average weight of those seven was 117 pounds. Maximum weight was 148, minimum was 106. Uh, for just for reference, most of them were the breakout babies because it says sires are not recorded. So five of them were the breakout babies, which makes sense, they're the oldest. Uh, they were in that last week of February, first week of March. So yeah, uh, five of them. And then one of them was a Rito sired and it was 111 pounds. And one was actually Ile de France sired and it was 119 pounds. So yep, they all, they all look good. And we are gonna hook up the trailer now. We got everything kind of set up for loading so it shouldn't take too long. Hey kids. Come on. Come on. All seven. Will we all seven find the door? Hey, 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 hey. That's it. Okay. One. Four, five, six, seven. Thank you. glorious thing to see first thing. Hi guys. Welcome. Okay, let's check you for some mail. Make sure you're coming. You just stay put. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a little drop. You guys have been drinking now. Okay. I've been supplementing all three. And mom has milk, but I'm, I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to keep supplementing these lambs. I really don't want to have to put one on the machine because the bottle babies are so much further advanced than these ones that I think they'll, I think they'll get behind. I'm just gonna keep them in this bigger pen for a, a while and we'll just keep supplementing until they're kind of thriving on their own. Hey, kind of a pain, but you're cute. Yeah, go we'll see your new neighbors. Yeah, go we'll see your new neighbors. Mm -hmm. Hi, you guys want a little bottle? Do you want a bottle? Mm -hmm. I'm not mummy. Well, this isn't quite the plan for today. And it's always when I've got hungry animals waiting. My feed cart is full of feed. And I think I blew the apron chain. This is all I see so far. This does not belong there. The auger is moving and the apron chain is not. And this doesn't excite me too much. I don't know if one of these have popped out and winded. So Jess is gonna come and I have to empty this by right here. Mommy. Uh, 
That was quick. Yeah, that was fast. Come on, Mom. Love your baby. That's your baby. Yeah. Good, Mommy. Beautiful. All right, we got Mama and Baby in the lambing pen. I think she's marked for two, so I have some gloves. I'm just gonna do a quick internal just to make sure she's all right. But I think she's more than capable of doing this on her own. She's a nice little mom, little ewe lamb. I think that's it. Don't do another one. Good girl. Can I check your edit? Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, sweet pea. Well, it took all day, four hours to be exact, to rip apart this feed cart and put a whole new chain on both sides of this, uh, of the paddles. So the, a brand new, basically a brand new apron chain minus the paddles. Uh, luckily, when I busted this last October, uh, we had ordered these chains because we just had enough to patch up the old one and it, it limped along until just now. What had happened was one of these links broke and then it wrapped around itself on this pulley so it was a heck of a mess to get apart and to, um, well, it's not the easiest cart to break apart and take the chain off and put all back together. So I'm glad the kids, both kids were home. Uh, so they helped kind of do that, but what it meant for me is I didn't get feeding done till just now. It's after four. Uh, I had a whole afternoon planned of seedering my next group uh, that I want to breed in two weeks, and it's just going to have to wait till tomorrow. The good news is hopefully Chris is feeling good enough that she can come back to work tomorrow, and then I'll have her to help me. I guess it's the universe telling me I need to wait for her because I probably have more patience with her. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna fill a bottle with colostrum. That lamb looks like it knows where everything is, is, and it looks like it's been on mom, it's not crying. But I have a birthday party to go to tonight. My nephew's turning 13, I think? Is he 13 or is he 14? Anyways, uh, it's his birthday today. And it's also Canada Day, so happy Canada Day. Uh, but yeah, I wanna just mix that bottle of colostrum just to make sure it had some in that first five hours and then I'm going to clean up and uh, get the flock out of here today. Asking for a friend, does anyone have a partner who decides to start a job five minutes before we're actually supposed to be somewhere? Just me? Okay.